Okay, so the torso stays neutral. He's pulling nice and slow to get the rhomboids, the teres, maybe the low trap a little bit to come back online. Hey guys, welcome to our home here today. And we're gonna go over road to neck with you. Banded road to neck. And you're also gonna be seated. So seated, banded road to neck. And this exercise is so good at starting to get the scapular retractors or those muscles in between the scapula that we need to be active to have healthy range of motion of our shoulders that are sleepy in a lot of us. This exercise is gonna be great at getting them back online. Yeah. Rowing to your neck, okay, is naturally gonna bring your elbows out to the side. The, as your elbow drops lower, closer into the hip, it's gonna help bias the lat more. And as it comes out wider, you're gonna get a lot more posterior delt, rhomboid, mid, low trap, as well as the teres muscles, okay? So just know that as the elbow comes out, you should be feeling it a lot higher up on the back, okay? And as the elbow comes down, you should be feeling it down here more. Teres are over here, rhomboid is in between, just so you can have a visual that he's talking about these muscles. Yeah. So I'm gonna do this exercise. Liz gonna walk you through it. One thing we wanna focus on is you are rowing to your neck, okay? So one thing to think about is you want the position of the anchor point there to be equal with the neck, okay? What we don't wanna do is be pulling down at us. It's a great exercise, but it's a different exercise. We're pulling up at us. Again, that's a great exercise. That's more of an upright row than a row to neck. And we have just the lightest band or the 20 pound band on here right now. So start lighter because this is a really challenging move because these muscles don't get turned on very often. Awesome. So as you can see, John's letting his elbows come out to a 90 degree angle from his body and then he's really squeezing the place in between his shoulder blades together at the back. Yeah, so it's really about getting those shoulders to move as well as breathing 360 degrees into his low back before he goes so that the extension, it, it's so great in your back, John, the extension is from here to here. The extension is not happening in the low back, which is the action that compresses the low back that we want to move out of like that. Don't do that. <laughs> You're also just doing a back exercise there. Yes. Okay. So the torso stays neutral. He's pulling nice and slow to get the rhomboids, the teres, maybe the low trap a little bit to come back online. One thing to think about here is imagine, Lily, can you put your arms underneath my arms? Okay, underneath my arms, thank you. Imagine like you're pulling on a track, almost like how a boat can go up and down a hoist. Imagine your arm moving along a track that's keeping it up high, or almost like it's moving across the top of a table or something like that. Imagine like there's something beneath your arm just so your brain has that extra incentive to not let that arm drop because it is going to be much stronger. Your brain's going to want to pull on that lat to help create stability and strength. Just don't let it and fight to keep that elbow high using whatever mental memory trick you need. And although you're fighting to keep the elbow high, you still need to keep the shoulders relaxed because if you let the shoulders come up towards your ears, now you're recruiting your upper trap here that's already too tight and tired. Yeah, so what we want is to use the lap to depress the scapula, and then with it depressed, then we're gonna have our track high elbow squeeze there, okay? Go back, don't contract, don't depress with the lap, okay? Don't, don't over exaggerate, just don't <laughs> do that. And now pull to your neck. See how we get a lot more up here? Less, I can actually stick my whole fingers in there. Okay, now use your lap. Okay, now pull. Now there's no chance of getting it through there. That one little thing, use the setup to set yourself up for success. This is an amazing postural exercise and it, it just helps you sit up straighter after you do it. I love it for that. So do it properly and enjoy sitting up straighter. Yeah, let us know what you think.